Hello, so today we are going to see how to use AWS Tape function with distributed map. Uh, this is going to be a hands-on session, so uh, I will not spend much time. Uh, just a minute I will spend to explain you the use case. Uh, let's say you have a Tape function that uh, processes a transaction using Lambda, and it processes a single transaction. And there is a case where you have to process multiple transactions um, as a data set. Uh, and uh, that's where you use the uh, map state type where it allows you to perform or the process multiple inputs with different data, different values uh, in parallel. So there are two types of map state, uh, inline map and distributed map. At high level, inline map is for smaller data sets and uh, distributed map is for larger data sets where it also supports some additional features like from where to take those larger data sets. Okay, so the first step is to create a, a Lambda function. Create function, give your function name. Process transaction, because it is going to process a single transaction. Uh, runtime will be latest Python version and create function. Okay, so the function is created it is creating the default source code. So currently there is no source code for this function. So I will going to uh, use the existing code that I have. I will uh, provide a link to my GitHub repository where from where you can get the source code. Okay, so um, just to quickly understand this lambda function, um, it is printing loading function. And this is the actual um, Lambda definition uh, that will handle the, the event. Uh, so what we are doing here is uh, taking the event and the context. And uh, we are creating the output um, that is based um, on the, the input data that is uh, from the event. So what we are doing is uh, concatenating the transaction ID, uh, type, and amount from the event and printing it um, so that we can see this in our logs, Cloud, CloudWatch logs. And we are returning that um, concatenated string back to the caller. So in this case, it will be a state function. Okay, so we can also test this function. Uh, so go to the test tab, uh, click on create new event. Let's give any name, event one. So in this case, uh, we want to process a single transaction, right? So we can provide uh, input JSON from this inputs.json file. So just take the first part, which is a single transaction, having transaction ID, type, and amount. And you can click on a save, save this event, and then test. So if you see uh, the Lambda execution is successful and uh, it is printing the concatenated string where you have transaction ID, type and amount. Okay, so our Lambda function is ready. Uh, let's make sure it is deployed. Yeah, and we are good to go. The next step is to um, upload your data set uh, to S3 bucket so that state function will uh, use it. Uh, so I'm going to use existing S3 bucket. Uh, if you want, you can create a new one. Uh, so uh, in this step function input bucket, I'm going to upload uh, my data set. Okay, so uh, in the code, I have uh, a file S3 object transaction data set.csv, which contains the data set. Uh, it's a CSV file uh, where I have this comma separated list. First line is the name of columns and there are three actual transactions normally there will be like thousands of transactions but um, i don't want to like spin up a lot of uh, underlying workflows so i have kept only three transactions and those three transactions will uh, spin up three different uh, step functions and uh, those transactions will be processed by those you know, invocations okay so let's upload this file i can drag drop Okay, so file is here, click on upload. 
okay so the file is uploaded and uh, your data set is ready we are in the state functions um, service console click on create state machine uh, since we are going to use the existing code for the state machine we will click on blank and uh, create a state machine uh, so go to the code section and let's reuse the code that we have uh, so in the um, code repository there is a file step function process transactions distributed dot json so this contains the, the state machine code so i will go through the code uh, in a bit so let's create the state machine and it will create the role automatically that has all required permissions so it, it looks at the code and based on that uh, determines um, which uh, IAM permissions are needed for the role so let's create the role and state machine is created so to take a look at the code um, you see that the state machine starts at the process all state and uh, the set states section defines all the states basically there is only one um, high level or the outer state called as process all which is of type map um, so this item reader section desire uh, defines how the input data set is read so we are reading it from a csv file uh, first row is the header row and it is uh, available in the s3 bucket at this path uh, the process uh, item processor is um, a distributed um, map and the uh, state, uh, state machine type is the express type uh, now uh, in the in the processing we are going to use the internal uh, workflow so as i said uh, the distributed map invokes the additional uh, uh, workflows workflow instances uh, that will process each um item separately so that way you don't see all the logs in the or in the outer uh, state machine but you see the individual uh, state machine logs or the workflow logs in in its own uh, execution so that way you can process uh, even if you process thousands of records you can see the separate logs for each execution uh, so if you see in the item processor uh, there is a sub state machine i would say uh, it has it starts at the lambda task um, state and this lambda task state uh, is a regular task type state uh, and it uses the lambda to do the transaction processing so uh, it's like regular stuff where we are uh, specifying the lambda function name the ARA, the payload will be the payload that we pass from the from the outer function so every transaction payload will be a sub sent to the uh, each instance execution but once that execution lambda execution is complete uh, it will go to the next uh, state which is of type pass that means it is complete and um, since it's the end state the execution will stop here uh, the result writer where um, the execution results will be written uh, to the same S3 bucket, uh, but at this path. So you can use different uh, S3 bucket or you can use same, uh, but uh, uh, for the simplicity, I'm using the same S3 bucket. Okay, so this is a code explanation and um, we have a state machine ready. Okay, so let's start the state machine execution. Uh, so um, in the S3 bucket, you see uh, we have the csv file that is our data set so we'll go to the step functions this is the step function that we just created click on it and click on start execution so um, we are not providing any input here because um, the input will be taken from the uh, csv file in the s3 bucket click on start execution so you will see that it, it um, started executing this uh, outer uh, state function and it ran this map state where uh, you can see the execution of each 
uh, internal workflow uh, separately. I click on this and open in a new tab. So here you can see the overall execution is uh, successful. And in the map run, you will see there are three executions, three IR transactions in the, in the data set. Okay, so you can click on each execution and you will see the input and output of that um, execution. So, yeah, so that's how it processed all three records in parallel. Coming back to the, uh, the outer state machine. Okay, now we can see the output in the S3 bucket. So in the S3 bucket, if you refresh, uh, there will be a CSV process jobs folder created because that is what we have defined um, in the state machine. CSV process jobs is the prefix for the uh, S3 path. So go inside that folder. And there will be two files, the manifest.json that contains the, the information about the results. So let's download this succeeded uh, underscore zero dot json file and if you open it let's format it yeah so here you can see uh, all three executions their ARN uh, what was the input the output and uh, status whether success or failed and the start in time so yeah all the details will be available in the, the output file thanks for watching if you like this video please click on like button and subscribe to my channel thank you